Hello and welcome back to the little mailbox. Here we are with yet another piece of mail that has my name on it. And this one, let me tell you about this piece of mail. So, it says on here that it was sent back in August of 2012. It was meant to be here by my birthday, which was in September of 2012. But it didn't arrive. We received it a couple of weeks ago, now in 2013. And, let me tell you that I'm super glad that it finally arrived. This is one of the most special things I've ever received. I can't wait to show you. Get, let me get it out of here. Look at this. I'm actually getting really good at taking things out of packaging with one hand. I just shook it out of there. Nothing got stuck. It was flawless. This is the most amazing start to any package ever. Get out of here, Pikachu. Come. Come. Let me show you to the world. This is a Pikachu bobblehead. Let me put it over here and move my keyboard out of the way. Wow. Isn't it just cute? The head actually bobbles. Look at that. I might go and put this over at Helene's PC because she has a Pikachu hoodie. So she can wear her Pikachu hoodie while the little Pikachu bobbles its head at her. That sounds amazing. I'm going to put you over there and you can watch the rest of this unpackaging. Chill, buddy. Chill. Now this right here, whoa! In the red envelope, it says to Lumen, the glorious YouTuber. Thank you very much. I see that as a huge compliment. Calling someone glorious, amazing. This is actually a birthday card. Oh. I'm so sad that I didn't receive this on my birthday. It would have been so cool if it actually arrived on September the 1st, but still. It's here now, and I would say it's no less special, because look at those. If I'm not mistaken, those are meerkats. You know, like Timon and Pumbaa. Pumbaa isn't a meerkat, but Timon is from The Lion King. Wow. Inside here, they're looking, they're looking quite fabulous. I must just put that out there. Except this guy is, is looking a little bit crazy, that guy there. A little bit cray-cray. Inside here it says, To Lumen, happy birthday. I hope you have had a great day depending on when you receive this. I can't really remember but I think I had a pretty good day on my birthday. Stay glorious and keep making amazing videos from Karina. Now we're gonna hear a little bit more about Karina when we delve deeper into this package so don't even worry. We'll get to it. First we're gonna get to this though. This says Nero Puppy as you can quite clearly see and that is one of Nero's more popular poses. He does this all the time. He's probably sitting like this right now, if I can find him. Uh, kind of. He's out there on the pillow. There's no sun left. Hello, boy. Do you want to come look? Do you want to come look at this picture of yourself? Oh, it's quite nice. Oh, so I think you should come and look. Come over here and have a look. Let's see. Let's see if he actually listened to me. I don't know if he's convinced because it is quite fresh out there and it's a little bit warm in here, but that's incredibly well done. I don't know if you traced it or something, but I know for a fact that I would never be able to draw anything near as good as this. Then again, I'm no artist, but still, it looks really good. Now I'm going to be able to put that on display over there for a second. Now, this is probably what I'd call the main attraction in the package. It is... A book or journal of sorts. It says Tales of Lumen over there and it says on this side here, on this this cover, 14k subscribers TOL. Did I have 14k in September? Wow. I'm already just past 17 so that's quite nice. It's a nice reminder. Then, that is probably the best version of me that I've ever received. Well done. You've even got my little facial fluff on the sides there. And the crazy hair. Wow. In the background, Minecraft, Legend of Grimrock, Mass Effect 3, Assassin's Creed, I think that's the Revelations logo, and Skyrim. Those are all games that I've played. First page. There's a long letter here that starts with Warm Sands. I don't think you could possibly start a letter with a better phrase than 
Warm sands to you, friend. No, no, you cannot. This over here is Ike, and I'm so glad that you're one of the few people that watched my Quantum Conundrum playthrough. That was actually the first set or series of videos that I had a face cam in, and I'm kind of proud of how that playthrough went. I enjoyed it a ton. It was a pretty brief playthrough, but still a lot of fun. It says here, Grand Adventure awaits. That seems to be Ezio. Those are some Minecraft tools and weapons. Sorry, the drawings are not very good. Unhappy face. Listen here. You take that back right the heck now, because these drawings are amazing. That looks like concept art from Quantum Conundrum. Don't even joke with me. And then over here, I'm thinking this is Kajo in his casual wear. He's got like a nice v-neck on in that picture. I like it. I really like it. But, let's give this a read. And I must warn you right now that I'm kind of bad at reading. So I'm just putting that out there. Dear Lumen, aka Swen, warm sands to you, friend. My name is Karina and I live in the UK. I've been a regular viewer of your videos since I accidentally stumbled upon your Skyrim playthrough towards the end of 2011. And let me just tell you now that I'm so glad I did. I just had to subscribe. Wow. It's like a visual novel of some sort. It really is. I like it. I'm going to keep reading. I have quite a serious form of epilepsy that has to be controlled by medication. However, some days it can get me really down and prevent me from doing the things I want to. But it seems that whenever I'm having a bad day, I can simply put on one of your amazingly entertaining videos. I was about to go just with normal videos, but you know, you, you said that. Thank you. And let me just read the rest of it before I say anything else. Your, your glorious style of gameplay and magnificent commentary never fails to cheer me up. And this is just my way of saying thank you in rather large letters. I'm so happy that it's helping you out. I mean, that is probably the main reason that I do this. It's obviously for other people, I love making videos and everything just because I enjoy doing it. But the fact that people like you and so many others get so much enjoyment out of just watching the videos that I put out there makes me, it makes me happy deep down inside. It really does. As do these photos of your cute puppy. I haven't even read about him yet or her, but wow. Also, just like Nero Puppy, I have a great canine companion. His name, okay, it says his there, is Ozzy, and he's a Doberman. Whew. He's a very handsome guy. Every time I watch your vlogs or general videos and Nero can be seen or heard, Ozzy immediately starts running around the house like a complete and utter mad dog. There is no better thing than a complete and utter mad dog. Especially if said puppy is as cute as Ozzy. Or Nero, who didn't come inside here to look, he's passed out. Oh, it's roadkill pose. That right there is roadkill pose. But let's, let's carry on reading, because this is just getting interesting now. Talking about Ozzy. I like it. Here I included some photos from when we first got him, six months old, then a year, and now two years old. He really matured well. Here he had some teenage Nero puppy ears. That is such a cute phase. When dogs have their ears like on top of their head like this, I like it. Most dogs seem to go through that phase. It's like they're rebellious teens. I find it so cute. And over here, manly, manly Aussie. Then it starts with glorious on the next page. Overall, I just wanted to thank you and tell you, or thank you and let you know, I did warn you that I'm bad at reading. That I appreciate all the hard work you put into making such entertaining videos for your subscribers and regular viewers to enjoy. I hope your channel continues to grow and become even more glorious than it already is, if that's even possible. She wrote that there. I didn't say that. I didn't add that or anything that was written. It says it right there. Now, where was I? For hopefully many more years to come. Hear, hear. I hope I'm going to be able to do this for the rest of my life, because why not? 
when I'm doddering and old, I'll still be making commentaries and you guys will hopefully still be watching them. From one of your long-term subscribers in England, Karina, aka Sneaky Fox on YouTube. Karina, I didn't realize that you were Sneaky Fox, obviously, because I just received this, but that means that I gave you a male character in XCOM. And sadly, I killed you. So I apologize for that. Right the heck now, I didn't mean to have you die. I can actually even remember the mission that you died on. Two other people died on that mission. <sighs> terrible loss. Terrible, terrible loss. But if I had known, then I would have made you a girl person. If I had known. P.S. Tell Elin and Nero that I think they're awesome. Elin, Karina thinks you're awesome. Nero! <laughs> Karina from the UK thinks you're amazing, my boy. Absolutely amazing. And also awesome. How does that sound to you? Hey? I think he likes it. Oh, so I think he likes it a lot. <laughs> this long distance communication with Nero is not the best thing, but you know, we're doing it. We're doing it because we want to stay close to this male. Now, where was I? P. P. S. Sorry, I wrote quite a bit as I know. <laughs> You say that you're terrible at reading. I do. I say that all the time. I should probably stop saying it, but I think I'll only stop saying it when I actually get a little bit better at reading, the act of reading, which probably won't happen anytime soon. Although I do it so much. Jeez Louise. <sighs> now, this is something I was super impressed with. It really is. I only briefly like skimmed through this mail to make sure I knew what I was getting myself into. But this is Skyrim episode 47. Okay. It is a comic version of it. And I gotta say that it is incredibly well done and super accurate too. So it starts off, phew, thank God Croesus is dead. This is True Shot Lumen, and those are some arrows over there, and that's Lacrosis. Time to learn a new shout. Even. I can't remember what the shout was. Oh, there it is. It says it there. But after killing Croesus, I don't know if any of you remember that epic battle. It took me a good long time. I was completely flustered. I really was. Fusroda! Fusroda! I don't know. What the... Learn a new word of power. Throw voice. What the hell is throw voice? Oh, it's like a distraction. <laughs> I never use that shout. Never! I'm on episode 147 now, or something like that, and I still haven't really used throw voice at all. I just haven't. Then, en route back to Whiterun. Oh, look! There's dragons. No, 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 no! Oh, my goodness, bear! Command animal! Quick, command animal! Phew! That's the bear being commanded. <laughs> this was so good. This was amazing. I'd love it if every single Skyrim episode I ever put out was done in, like, comic form, then we should get them in our local newspaper here or something so the world can see them. Or at least the town that I live in. We can start small, you know. Start small. Now this is something I really enjoyed. These are the quotes. Glorious. Sweet juniper lee. It's very nice. <laughs> Keen like a bean. Warm sands. You're crazy. You're absolutely crazy. That's one of my favorites. I'm just reading them in my own voice. I'm, I'm reading them how I would say them. Lumak, prepare a spell. <laughs> Check the walls for buttons. Those are obviously from Grimrock. Maybe I should hire some Romanies. Ezio, no! You silly, silly assassin. Time for a grand adventure. Wow, very handsome. Sadly, that's going to be it for this episode. Me, no! That was Karina. I, I assume Karina doesn't sound anything like me. But still, go, 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 go! There you go. I got through all the quotes, and I think I did an admirable job at in imitating myself. I don't know. I think that's what I sound like most of the time. But I like these quotes. You chose some really good ones. I'm impressed. And this... <sighs> I am kind of at a loss for words. This is... One of the most impressive Skyrim, I'm going to call it murals, that I've ever seen. Because it seems like it's done in a mural style. Where there's just so much going on. 
That's me, Dead Eye Lumen, True Shot Lumen, on the back of Frost, with my bow and arrow. That over there is a large and kind of scary looking dragon. I actually wish the dragons in Skyrim were really that scary. If they were, I'd think twice about engaging in glorious battle with them. But they're not. So most of the time they're just a nuisance, but this dragon doesn't look like a nuisance. No, it looks terrifying. It looks like real danger. Look at that tail. Whew. I'm gonna put proper photos of all the really important stuff at the end of this video, so you'll see it in, let's just say, higher resolution. It's not gonna be super high resolution or anything like that, but you'll see better quality versions, not this camera pointed at the photo, of, at the <laughs> image kind of thing. I'll give you proper quality versions of them. Now here, this is a Legend of Grimrock page. That's one of those hooded tendril guys. That's one of the fire elemental type things. There's a snail and there's a troll. It says Grimrock, Adventure and Tourum. The Lumati Party. These are custom made cards. Okay. I didn't think this would be possible. But it seems like Karina has done it. They look so authentic. I love it. It says Legend of Grimrock on the back. This one is Luminator, and Luminator has two different skills, 180 HP, Dismantler, Slash. Now, you can see a lot of thought went into the creation of these cards, because the Dismantler is the weapon that Luminator is using, okay? It even says, like, the damage and the cost and everything. Like, for instance, the Dismantler Slash says a powerful slash by the blade of a strong sought after sword. Most of those who stand in its way will fall after just one swing. And it says in brackets, it'll occasionally miss. Too true. Too true. Luminator was never the most accurate of fighters, but hey, she got the job done. Then she also has the shield block ability. This over here is Lumizard, the handsome monk from our party. He's got armored punch. It's a strong hardy punch made more effective if the party member is wearing cage fighter gauntlets. He's got 150 HP and he's also got the combat kick skill. Here's Lumen. That was the rogue archer type class in our party. Crossbow double shot and deadly throw in aim. Both sound super effective. Let me just say that. This over here is Lumug, he was our spellcaster, and you can even see that Lumug has a blue card because he did use frost spells for the most part. He's got frost shield and frost bolt. Now I can tell you that I didn't use frost shield nearly enough. I'm glad you included it on this card because I really should have been using it more. I just didn't. For some reason, I just didn't. These cards are so cool. They are. Same can be said for the rest of the contents of this package. Now I'm going to try to squeeze them back in there. Ooh, well done me! And on the back. Sorry, that's going to be it for this mail. Check back at your PO box soon for more, hopefully very soon. But happy receiving mail from England. Happy that. Then, over here it says, please, 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 please play Assassin's Creed 3 on your channel. It would be amazing. There's the Legend of Grimrock Lantern. The Skyrim logo. That is a very good recreation of the Skyrim logo. And this right here, British money. I've actually never had British money before. I have had Euros. That's what I had when I went to Europe the one time. And I never got around to getting myself any pounds. So that's a five pound note. And that over there is five pence, I think. They're currently stuck under some tape and I'm gonna leave them there. But that seems to be a five pence coin. I don't know. I don't know the British monetary system very well, but I have to say that this lady on your note is much more attractive than the guys we have on our notes here. Just putting that out there. I think any South Africans would gladly agree with me. Happily agree. But I think that is sadly everything that was in this mail. And I think after seeing all of that, the lot of you can agree that it was a special one. Karina. Thank you so, so much. Myself and Eileen both enjoyed this immensely. Nero will be shown. Oh, he's gone. I was going to say, 
He'll be shown the drawing of himself, and I'm sure he'll like it a lot. So again, thank you so, so much. If any of you have anything to say about this, please feel free to leave comments. We are actually going to be changing our address sometime soon. For now, it's going to stay the same, but I will definitely let you know when our PO box or whatever changes, and I'll update the videos as required. But that's going to be it for this episode. Check back here soon for more. It feels so weird saying that after just reading it in this mail. It feels so strange, but I like it. I like feeling strange every now and then. Check back soon for most importantly though. Happy receiving mail from the UK and from Karina. And I hope I'm saying her name right. But happy that.